Hey everybody, welcome to my Mac Mini 2018 unboxing and review. In this video, I'm going to unbox a new 2018 Mac Mini and talk about why I chose this configuration and my experience with it so far. So stay tuned. So first, let's do the unboxing. This Mac Mini is a base model quad-core i3 running at 3.6GHz with 8GB of RAM and a 128GB PCIe SSD. It's obviously not the fastest or most powerful configuration, but it should be just fine for what I use it for. I primarily use it as a home entertainment center to watch TV, movies, YouTube, and for some light web browsing. In my case, I'm connecting it to my 49-inch LG LCD TV and have the audio sent out to some 2.1 powered Logitech speakers which I found to be a great setup to meet my needs. This Mac Mini is replacing my 2009 model, which lasted nine years with only an SSD upgrade. So I hope to get close to a decade out of this one too. If you'd like me to do a video about how to use a Mac Mini as a home entertainment center, and what apps and hardware I found make a great experience, let me know in the comments below. If there's interest, it's a video I'd be happy to make. So I've had this Mac Mini for about 3 days now, and i found it to be a great experience. It boots up in approximately 10 seconds, and runs everything silky smooth and fast. No hiccups when watching every video file I've thrown at it including my 4K 20GB MKV of Valerian. I even put Final Cut Pro on it and tried a bit of editing to see how it runs, and it's actually really good for the videos I do. The only thing I noticed that's minor, but I found strange, is that when you start up the new Mac Mini, it doesn't have that familiar startup chime. I did some research and found out that most Macs after 2016 don't make that sound anymore. I have to say I kind of miss it. It's how you used to know the computer successfully got through post, the power on self-test. I guess we now just have to look at the screen. It's not that big a deal, but that truly is the end of an era. I will miss that. When you run a Geekbench test, the multi-core score is 14,356. When compared to my old 2009 Mac Mini, it scored only 2,465 on the multi-core score, and the 2014 MacBook Pro I used to make my YouTube videos only scored 6,956 on the multi-core score. So the new 2018 Mac Mini obviously runs circles around the old Mac Mini, but also around my aging MacBook Pro. If you primarily use streaming services and or download the content you like to watch, I'd fully recommend checking out the new 2018 Mac Mini. It may not be the most cost-effective option, but provides a great user experience. And it's nice to know I can use it as a backup for video editing in case I run into an issue with my MacBook Pro. In fact, if I didn't need a mobile solution, I'd probably just switch to using the Mac Mini for my video editing as it has two times the processing power in my case. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And while you're down there, don't forget to ring that bell and subscribe to the channel for more tech videos, including tech how-tos, every week. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.